Hello everyone, this is Andrew again and welcome to PLC Programming Training for Beginner Part 5. Let's start our first exercise. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one lamp. The lamp will only turn on if PB1 is pressed for 2 seconds. And the lamp will turn off if PB2 is pressed. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. As you can see, the lamp turned on after 2 seconds. Then, let's press PB2. The lamp turns off. And now, I want you to post this video and try to do it by yourself. And you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer. Okay, let's continue. First, let's analyze my program first. This will be my answer. First, Let's press PB1. And now, because PB1 is pressed, X0 is energized. And that will cause this timer to be activated after 2 seconds. The timer is now activated. Because T0 here is activated, all the contact of T0 will change. And because there's T0 here, it will activate Y0. And because there's uh, latching, even if we turn off T0, Y0 will still on. And the only way to turn it off is by pressing X1 or PB2. And that's how we analyze this program. Now, let's go to simulation. Let's press PB1. Now, let's press PB2. Okay, that's how we solve exercise 1. Now, let's go to our exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one lamp. If PB1 is pressed, lamp 1 will turn on. If PB2 is pressed, lamp 1 will turn off after 3 seconds. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. The lamp turns on. Now let's press PB2. The lamps turns off. As you can see, lamp 1 turns off 3 seconds after we press PB2. Now I want you to post this video and try to do it by yourself. And resume this video so that you can compare your answer. Okay, let's continue. Let's analyze this program first. This will be my answer. When we press PB1, as you can see here, because we press PB1, X0 is energized. And that will cause M0 to activate. And because M0 is activated, all the contact of M0 will be activated here. And that will be a latching. And T0 here is a timer of delay. Because of that, it will immediately activate it. All the contact of T0 will change. And because of that, normally open contact here will be closed. And that will cause Y0 here to energize. And because Y0 is our lamp, lamp will turn on. Okay. Now let's press PB2. By pressing PB2, X1 will be open here. And that will cause M0 to activate. And because this one is timer of delay, we need to wait for 3 seconds before this one is deactivated. Okay, that's how we analyze this program. And now, let's go to our simulation. Let's press PB1. Then now, let's press PB2. And that's it. That's how we solve exercise 2. Now let's go to our next exercise. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and one lamp. If PB1 is pressed for 2 seconds, the lamp will turn on. If PB1 is released for 3 seconds, the lamp will turn off. 
Okay, let's have our demonstration. When we press PB1 for 2 seconds, the lamp will turn on. Then the lamp will turn off 3 seconds after we release PB1. Okay, that's it. Now I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer. Now let's continue. This will be my answer. And now let's try to analyze this program. Let's press PB1. And by pressing PB1, X0 will be energized. And because X0 is energized here, T0 will be activated after 2 seconds. Now, because T0 is activated, all the contact of T0 will change. Because this one is normally open, it will close. And because this one is now closed, it will give signal to our timer here. And because this one is a timer of delay, it will immediately activate it. And because this one is already activated, timer 1 here will change. And this one will give signal to Y0. Because Y0 is activated, lamp 1 will be turned on. And now let's release PB1. Now that we release PB1, the timer is deactivated. And that will cause this contact to go back to its initial state. And because of that, timer of delay here will be deactivated after 3 seconds. Okay, that's it. Let's go to our simulation. And that's how we solve exercise 3. And now let's go to exercise 4. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. If PB1 is pressed for 3 seconds, the lamp will turn on. If PB2 is pressed for 2 seconds, the lamp will turn off. Now let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. And as you can see, the lamp is activated after 3 seconds. Then now let's press PB2. And now the lamp turns off after 2 seconds. Now I want you to post this video and try to do it by yourself. Then you can resume this video later so that you can uh, compare your answer. Now let's continue. This will be my answer. Let's analyze this program. Let's press PB1. Now, here, X0 is energized, and that will cause T0 here to activate after 3 seconds. And because T0 here is activated, all the contact of T0 will change. And because this one is normally open, it will be closed, and that will cause Y0 here to turn on. And because Y0 is turned on, lamp 1 will turn on. Now, even if we release X0 and T0 here is not activated anymore, lamp is still on because there is a latching here. And the only way to turn it off is by activating T1. And to activate T1, we need to energize X1. And when we energize X1, T1 will be activated after 2 seconds. Now, let's press PB2 to energize X1. And now, because of this one, timer 1 will be activated after 2 seconds. And that's it. Now, let's go to our simulation. Now, let's press PB2. Okay, and that's how we solve exercise 4. Now let's go to exercise 5. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. 
If PB1 is pressed for 4 seconds, lamp will turn on. If PB2 is pressed, the lamp will turn off after 2 seconds. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Then now, let's press PB2. And now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. And you can resume the video later so that uh, you can compare your answer. Okay, let's continue. Now, let's press PB1. And because X1 is energized, T0 will be activated after 4 seconds. And now because T0 is activated, M0 will be activated here. And timer 1 here is activated which is a timer of delay. And that will cause T1 here to activate also. And that will make Y0 to be energized. And because of that, lamp 1 will turn on. Now let's release PB1. As you can see, even if we release PB1, the lamp is still on because there is a latching here. And the only way to turn it off is by energizing X1. Now let's press PB2. And because PB2 is pressed, X1 here will be open and that will cause M0 to be deactivated. And because there is no signal here anymore, the timer will start counting. And as you can see, after 2 seconds, the timer is deactivated and that will cause this contact to go back to its initial state. And because of that, Y0 will be de-energized and lamp will turn off. Okay, I hope you enjoy watching this video and please wait for the next episode of our tutorial. And that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please uh, like and share my YouTube videos. And please like my Facebook page, the Gizgon Mechatronics Engineering Skills Tips, Tricks, and Learning. And please click see first on Facebook to notify you for new posts. And uh, thank you again. See you next time.